In this tutorial, I'm going to create a solar system and we're going to add some textures to it. Uh, so probably the first thing you want to do is just go on and find some textures. And I've just done a search for planet textures. There's lots of different places you could go. And when you find one, don't just save these. Click on it to make it bigger. And hopefully your pixel rate's at least above 500. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just save this one. And uh, when you're saving it, uh, you want to save them all in the same area. So that's kind of the first uh, thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into my Blender folder. And then I've already created a folder for my solar system. And then inside there, I've got a bunch of textures that I've already saved. And I'm just going to save the same one into that same spot. So the important thing is, is save all your textures in that one spot so that it's easy to find them um, and everything. So I'm just going to click, hold, and drag. And just drop that in there. I might already have that one in there, but, um, but I've got that with all my other textures um, and everything. And you could also just right mouse click and go to Save Image As and direct it to that place. So that's kind of the first thing. Get all of your images saved in the right spot. Either JPEGs or PNGs are ideal uh, for your textures. And uh, once you have that, the next thing is you want to create a document saved in that same area. You don't want to have these in two random places. Otherwise, your textures uh, won't stay. Um, so I'm going to jump into Blender. And this is kind of what we're going to create something. Uh, like this where we put all of our textures on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new document and Before I put any of those textures on I need to save this to the right place. So I'm going to do a save as and It's there's my textures. I'm going to just save it as that same thing But maybe just put another number so I have a different version of it so I can save that other one Okay, so once I have that I've got my um, my blender file let me move this to the side so i've got my blender document there and then i've got my textures in there so once you have that set up you're ready to go so i'm going to go ahead and just delete this guy so i just press x and deleted that and then i'm going to go to add and then go ahead and go to uh, uv sphere is probably the most ideal and i want to kind of make that a little bit smoother so to do that i'm going to just jump over to my modifier and then go ahead and um, put in a subdivision uh, surface. And that should smooth it if I just bump up my levels to at least three. I don't need to overdo it, but that should make it nice and smooth. Um, so I'll make one there. And then once I have that, um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put on a texture. If you want to add color to start, that's, that's fine. Um, and, and sometimes that's a little bit easier way to go, but um, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to so it's not solid so I can actually see my textures when they start to show up. Uh, so go ahead and put on my first texture. So I'm going to go to image texture and then click open. Go find my texture. And if you don't like viewing it this way, change it up so you can see thumbnails. And now I can see them a little bit better. So I'll click on this Earth one, click Open, give it a minute. So now I've got my first texture on. Looks pretty good. So I'll slide that to the side, and then I'll go ahead and make another one. So Add, Mesh, and then UV Sphere again. Make it a little bit bigger if I press S to scale. So I don't. I want to do a little bit of smoothing on there so go down to subdivision surface bump it up to at least three this is important uh, the viewpoint is what i'm seeing right now but when i render it out i want it to match so that's why i did both of them at three so and then i'm going to go ahead and put on another texture and it might be a good idea to name some of these things too right now i'm not doing that but uh, it's a good idea to do that so go to image texture again, click open, go to my textures, and then throw on my next one. So you just kind of keep doing that until you get all of your, your planets. Um, so I'm going to make about 10 of these or so. 
But I want to make a sun in here too. And the sun's going to be a little bit different when I do this. So let me show that right now. So add mesh and then go to UV sphere, S to scale it. So this part's still the same. I'm going to add the modifier, add modifier, and do my subdivisions. Bump it up to three. And then on this one, I'm going to make this one glow. So right now it's not glowing. Uh, I want to put a texture on and I also want to make it glow. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here to principled, change that to emission. And uh, I'm going to actually choose a color that I want to glow. Um, so right now it's not doing any glow at all. And if I want it to start to glow, what I need to do is uh, come over here to this new tab, this new little icon, Render Properties, and choose Bloom. So that, that'll start the, the glowing happening. And you're not really seeing it much because my strength is so low. So but click on Bloom. Now come back over to my materials. And then I'm going to go to my strength and just type in maybe about 20. Uh, and I can start to see that glow show up. If that's too much, then take it down a little bit until you get the glow you want. And then I also want to add on a texture with that. So I'm going to go right next to the color and just click on that. Choose image texture. It kind of disappears for a minute. And then go find my sun texture. Open that up, and there I've got my object that is now glowing, and it also has a texture at the, the same time. So pretty cool um, on there. And I would continue to just do all my planets and um, do as many as you want.